wasn't real, but real enough for military personnel who are practicing for any potential threat. Today's scenario, a protest that got out of hand. CTV's Chloe Charma reports. Protesters are trying to rattle the cage around the Canadian Forces military base in North Bay. It's a staged yet realistic situation. I think we got the, uh, the job accomplished. We pushed enough buttons. <laughs> Still, you know what? There were anti-satellite activists screaming for the wing commander, several physical altercations, and over-the-top hysterics. <laughs> CFE North Bay personnel take exercises like this one seriously. It prepares them for all types of real-life potential threats. What we're trying to do is uh, make the scenario real, so that way the reactions from, in this case, the Wing Auxiliary Security Force is real as well. Uh, we're testing their ability to, uh, to maintain composure, to treat the public with respect, uh, and allow the democratic process to take place. Earlier this month, 22 Wing had to deal with two events at the base that were by no means staged. A house fire gutted a home, and a man allegedly waving around a rifle forced a temporary lockdown. We're not going to change our tempo of doing exercises because of those events that you mentioned, but the, the exercises we're doing now do help feed into our ability to respond better uh, to those events. What's happening? Hey, the exercises run all week until Friday, and Colonel Boyle says training is done annually on the national level with some international elements involved. He also says trainees will be graded on how well they respond. Other mock situations military personnel have dealt with include dealing with suspicious packages, people coming on site with fake IDs, and an internal flu outbreak. As for exercises for the rest of the week, well, those details are top secret and cannot be released until the day of the scenario. Claude Sharma, CTV News, North Bay.